you had like a it's such a beautiful comment um, in one of these interviews that I was reading and it was about like you singing with the dead and I remember I was at the show I was, at, it was, it was I think it was one of the Shea Stadium shows and you sung I think you sung Comes a Time or, I can't remember yeah. I think that's what it was and like the minute you like opened up your voice like the crowd just went berserk, like crazy, you know, like just like nuts. And uh, you, you had this great line, like you, I can't wrote it down. You said, you said, you know, the best days of your life are always ahead of you, not behind you. Yeah. And I thought that was just so revealing because, you know, a lot of folks would say, yeah, just like you know, it's, it goes back to that Colonel Bruce comment, you know, like it's all about you know, there's endless potential. And you don't even know what your potential is. Like, you know, like you were never were like a lead singer in a band, you know, like. And I mean, even when I sung in my band, you know, my old lead singer started drinking again. And so he had a bad problem with it and I had to let him go. And I took over the singing. I was like, you're a way better singer than I am. But I can sing this gig better than you right now because my voice doesn't burn out. Like I just right. make it to the end of the gig. So but at that point, I was. I didn't have inner ear monitors, so you're always trying to scream over the band. And I wasn't a singer, so I wasn't using the right singing technique, you know. So you fast forward to uh, to Dead & Company, and I have these inner ear monitors because we're playing so soft. <clears throat> you know, I need to, like, crank my bass up in my ear so I can hear it. And I realized I could hit much higher notes in tune than I could before from singing because they were giving me all these high parts. <laughs> And um, I was like, wow, maybe I can sing better than I thought. And my old voice teacher that I got when I had to take over singing math, she was like, you have a beautiful voice. I was like, God, I hate my voice. I just got to do this because we got all these gigs. But she was like, you really should not be so hard on yourself. You know? And I, it's still, it's hard for me to listen to the older stuff, you know. But then... When I started singing with this band, I couldn't hear the audience in my ears because I didn't have the audience in my ears. I just had the band. So I got off stage and I was like, was that okay to ask my wife? I was like, is that okay? She was like, do you not hear the crowd? Like when you just walk up to the mic before you even open your mouth? And I was like, no. So I started getting the crowd in my ears. And I walk up to the mic and I was like, oh, shit. now it's gonna throw me off. Yeah, I'm about to tear up. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. And of course, the first thought is Colonel Bruce. Your conception of yourself is this big. If someone had told you that, oh, you're going to be singing lead at stadiums and, you know. Crushing it. With, with John Mayer on stage, no less. A guy that's made so much millions like singing, like real singers. You know? like, and I was like, I would have been like, Whoever your dealer is, I want their number because I want whatever you're on, you know. Um, and it just the the more my life unfolds, everything that that the colonel told me just proves to be truer and truer and truer to that. Now I'm like, I don't know. I who knows? I may become a millionaire one day. I don't know. I might be a billionaire. I don't even know. I don't care about. You know, that's not my aim in life, but I just know, like, I'm not limiting myself to anything. There's no ceiling. That's my only dogma in my life is no ceiling. And don't think your best days are behind you.